Our last word that we want to run after as a community is formation. 2 Corinthians 3.18 says, Now we all with unveiled faces, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. And this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. So what this is talking about is sanctification, or this process of discipleship, by which we increasingly look more and more like Jesus. So if I had to put it in a sentence, I would say, through corporate worship, we make disciples. Yeah, one of, one of the most famous passages about corporate worship, about gathering as a church, is in Hebrews 10. Mm. And the author writes this, Let us watch out for one another to provoke love and good works, yeah. not neglecting to gather together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging each other, and all the more as you see the day approaching. And there's a lot of things we can learn from this. The first one's pretty clear. Uh, we should gather. It's important to yeah. gather. Very clearly the author writes, don't neglect to gather together. Because secondly, the gathering is a primary place where we disciple people in the church, where, yeah. where we are discipled and we disciple other people. And uh, you know, it says we want to encourage each other towards holiness, towards love and good works. And even one of the words in here gives me a really helpful image for what this actually looks like when it says that the people who aren't gathering why are they doing it? Because it's a habit of their life. They're mm. doing it out of habit. Wow. And so discipleship certainly is towards, you know, following Jesus, but it's also away from the other things that have discipled us, whether it's the American dream or academia, whatever it is for yeah. you, we are all bringing in a discipleship uh, of something that's not Jesus. And we want to be discipled toward Jesus. And so that's the idea of formation, yeah. that we want to reform people, transform wow. people yeah. by the spirit of God to, to be followers of Jesus more and more. And so, this is a really like lofty idea, yeah. even as I say that. How do, we, how do we help people be transformed to look more like Jesus? And 2 Corinthians 3 gives us that answer. It says, as we gaze upon the glory of the yep, Lord, that's good. the Spirit of God transforms us more and more into the image of Christ. Yeah, and Davis, when I think about this on our end, I think of the word clarity. I think that while the Spirit of God is the one who is producing that work of sanctification, we have this responsibility as service leaders, whether you're behind the scenes, you're on the stage, to make things clear. And it's to make that one good message, the gospel message of Jesus Christ, clear more than anything else. So we're not in the, the business of trying to entertain people or try to create an experience that just this, is the 60 minutes that starts and ends and then it's done. No, we want to give them a clear message that's going to lead to life transformation and discipleship. And so, I mean, a really clear way that this applies for a really specific position is if you're, if you're running graphics and you're the one who's putting the, the lyrics to the songs we sing up on the screen, you gotta be on your job. You gotta be doing that because we want people to be able to know the words that are coming on the screen. And this applies to so many other people in, our, uh, in, in what we're doing on Sunday mornings, SALT, youth group. Uh, we want the gospel to be clear because through corporate worship, we make disciples.